time in, we uh, happen to find ourselves at beautiful Lake Concord. And uh, I'm dressed like it's cold. It's not too cold. I got an A-Rig tied on, man. It's windy, it's overcast. I got some bla a bladed A-Rig. I haven't had a great A-Rig bite in, uh, it's been like two, three years. I had one epic season where it was just, it was kind of before I got into really throwing big swim baits. And I pick it up every year and I toss it around and I never do that great with it, which is crazy to think, you know, as magical as A-Rigs are. But uh, I got one tied on. I've been, I, I'm gonna keep trying. Uh, so we're gonna get out here and see if we can't catch some big ones. There we go, there we go. Come on, baby, there's one. Oh, guy. Good God, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's an A-Rig fish right there, baby. There we go. Oh, guy. Somebody set their drag a little loose. Oh, guy. Because it was slipping. Hard to determine. This is not exactly the A-Rig rod of choice. But I'm throwing one of the heavier ones that I have. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby. The problem is the hooks that I have are not super duper thick, crazy hooks. So I get a little nervous. I kind of loosened up my drag. That, look at that tank. Look at that tank. Look at that, dude. That's what's up, man. Come on, baby. Heck yeah, winter time. That's, man. Every day in the winter, I'd be out here fishing if I could. That is, God, dude, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's the fish we're after, man. Oh, dude, come on now. 19 and three quarters to the old forkage, fork of the tail. Holy shnikes, dude. Look at how thick that girl is, dude. I mean, we're down here in Florida. I'm sure there's fish spawning. So I'm told, I don't, in these smaller lakes that I fish, I just don't notice it until January. That just seems to be, I don't start noticing them spawning till January, February. I'm sure in bigger lakes they are. You, I always hear about it like they are, but this girl is chocolate block full, super fatty, 14 inches around. And, uh, you know, so I'm, this is kind of the time of year where I'm going to start poking around the shallows and looking and seeing if I see beds, if I see fish on beds, whatever. But they're definitely a great time of year where you can still get up shallow, you can catch them deep. Wintertime's great. We got a good day out where it's not too cold. And we got that going on. Heck yeah. There we go. There's another one. There we go. <laughs> this guy a little bit shallower than the first. That's another good one though. That's another good one. There we go. There we go. Hammered it. Look at that. Right down the, right in the maw, dude. Right where you want to see. That is that's a fish that wanted that swim bait. <clears throat> Another good one, man. Kind of had a lull in between these two bites, but you know, it is what it is. That's two fat, healthy ones, man. Two thick beasts. That's wintertime fish for you. Love bass in the winter, man. They are so thick. This guy is 17 inches. inches and she is or he 17 11 and a half around bass number two a little evening a little evening a rig action heck yeah